Hi, welcome back to another video. This is different. It's been a minute. Yay. Okay, and in this video, if you couldn't tell by the title already, we're doing another tutorial on my plugin Punish GUI, which is linked down below if you want to get the plugin for your server. And if you don't, yeah, I don't care. I would like a review of the plugin if you like it, though, because, I mean, reviews are nice. Okay, uh, all the commands and everything are still the same. The only real big thing is that uh, that's still there apparently. I need to remove that. That'll be removed when I update it. Um, you will also notice that I'm running version 1.0.6. The version currently on Spigot as I'm recording this is 1.0.5, but it will be 1.0.6 as soon as when this video goes live. So there will be an update because I had to fix a few things. Um, but again, the punish command is still the same. Uh, we still get error messages if it doesn't work, etc. So if I want to punish my second account, you can see that now we I've changed the default config around a little bit. You can see or the def the default inventory around a little bit. As you can see, we have the punish. Uh, you're punishing at shadows. That's still the same. Uh, we have permanently ban. You can permanently ban the target. Uh, you can kick the target, and then this is just a dummy button that doesn't do much. Uh, so let's say I want to kick the target. It says player, it shadows, and kick for something I can't remember, though. So that is the default punish message when... Um, when you don't specify a punishment or a punish message. So I think it should hopefully work if I do this and let's say I want to put in a reasoning, reasoning, reasoning. I don't care. Hacks do that. And I can click permanently ban. And as you can see player, it shadows has been permanently banned for hacks. And then I apparently added an extra space by accident, either here or something. Actually, I think that has to do with the way that I'm, uh, converting the text into a string. Uh, then you can see that, and on the second account, it does say that I am banned for hacks in black lettering because that is really good. I'm gonna unban my second account, and then I can bring it back in. I'm sorry, it's a little laggy because I don't know reason things reasons why am i saying reasonings i don't know i haven't talked to people for a while okay i'm sorry right so everything is still the same the main changes is that we've removed the reset timer the conversation so you can't have custom reason with a conversation anymore you can have it with the the uh with the command and we've changed around the inventory stuff quite a bit so i'm gonna switch over to my desktop view and uh, we'll show you that stuff. Okay, so here we are in my test server folder. You can see all the fancy files I have in here. Yay. Uh, you can also see that here. You can see I was banned for hacks there, and you are banned, yeah. And then here, you've been banned for the server, and then if I hover over that, I can't see it. But promise me, it does say hacks. I didn't actually check. I did check, though. I didn't. For some reason, it's black. And I don't know why. All right. So, uh, install the plugin normally. You know, all that good stuff. And then in our inventory.yml, that's where the good old stuff has changed. Uh, we have the different items here. We have perm ban, for example. That's just a cut little perm ban item that can be removed and you can see that it has a type of command there are three different types of items that there can be and command console and none if it is classified as console it will execute every command as console you cannot execute any commands as a player uh, you cannot execute commands as a player, when you have this defined as a console, uh, we have the item. Um, that's different. That's the same, and all that good stuff. Um, a quick note is that type is 
required. And if you don't have a type defined, you will receive an error in the console when you run forward slash punish GUI or forward slash punish. Uh, you will receive an error in the console, but you will also receive an error in chat saying that you that that can't be ran or something. I don't remember. I haven't know. We'll show you when we create the custom item. Um, item is required because we have to know what item you want to specify. Um, as of now, name, the name item here is no longer required. Uh, it will set the material's name though, so there's that. Uh, lore is also not required. You don't need to add a lore, so you can actually just remove that section, and there you go. Amount is also not required. It can be 1 to 64. I think I haven't tested anything bigger than that. Uh, but if you don't specify an amount, it will always be 1. Uh, the where in the inventory here is always required as well because we need to know where you want to set the item in the inventory. Uh, commands, if you have a type of command or of console, this will always be required. And if you don't have it set, you will receive an error in, in the console, as in the server or whatever. I don't know why you care. Um, yeah, it requires it to be a sibling. It just means that it has to be... Uh, adjacent to all of these so it'll, this the commands has to line up with the type that's basically what a sibling is if you don't really know what yml is um you can see here you can specify any command that you want as long as the sender is permission to execute the command you should be good so the player has to have the permission to execute the command and if oops if they don't have permission to execute the command then it won't work um, we've added a fancy new message thing here, and if you define message in there, it will send whatever follows it to the player, which is fun. Uh, I actually forgot to add the prefix placeholder here in the version that is currently on Spigot, but at 1.6 it will be updated so you can put the prefix, or you can pass the prefix in here. And if it doesn't work then you know message me on spigot or post an issue on the github page but this will not be executed as a message it will be sent to the player so whatever you put in there will always be sent to the player uh, you just need the message thing there and then that'll be removed when we send the messages you saw in game then if you want to just execute a command you don't need to put anything in front of it you just put the command and then to execute on the target you put the target and to have the reason you put the reason uh, we have also added another placeholder thing, I guess I would call it, and it's console. So if you put, like here, if you put this as console, this command here will be executed as the console. Um, but you can also have the player still execute commands from themselves, such as if you need to log something with a command, then you can just press on it and it'll log the message. Then down here, we have the console example. Um, glow, you know, that's, does, that, doesn't need, that isn't required. And basically the only thing that is required in, an, in the inventory is the type, the item. You don't need the name. You need the, so basically all of those, all of these here are basically required. I actually don't know, I don't think permissions required either. So basically you just need the where, the item, and the type. I think, I, I'm not sure about the close on click, I don't remember if that's if required or not. But here you can see that we will, um, when you have the console, type command or uh, item you can still put message here and it will still send the message to the player that executed the command then we have the player the target and has been kicked for reason so you can change all of this you can have any message you want it's beautiful right i don't know if it's beautiful i think it's cool though
But the, this kick command will be executed at this console, which you saw in game uh, as the server was executing the command, which is cool. But you can see here that we actually don't have lore, and it's not throwing me any errors in the console, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to just create a quick uh, another example item. For example, let's just say we want to mute the person, the person that... You just need the type. In this case, it'll be the command item, right? Uh, I, it don't. I don't think it has to be capitalized. The commands or whatever it doesn't have to be capitalized, or at least it shouldn't have to be. Now, what do I want the item to be? Let's just do it as a diamond. Uh, we don't need the amount name mute that person I don't know you people will probably be more creative with names uh, and then where you can set that uh, as slot number one the permission okay um, and because it's that of type command I'm gonna show you the custom error so let's just say that's all you put Right? That's, you didn't complete it, you were going to get back to it another time. So, once you've done that, you can come back over here to the game. Let me just bring that down. And then you just execute the reload command. That'll reload it. And I've enabled the debug. So, it'll just say that it reloaded the thing, right? And then... Shadows, not Shadows MC, sorry. Uh, then if I run punish and then it shadows, for example, you can see that an error occurred and please check the console for details and you can see that we don't have anything there. And now if we check here, um, you can see here the punish GUI java.ling.nullpointer exception. That's just what we classify the error as and then it tells you the path that has not been defined so in this case mute.commands is undefined mute.commands is unset please set a list of commands to execute now you don't need a full list of commands you can just come down here put commands and just do a list uh, so we'll just say hi but we'll do that as console for example right Save that, and then punish GUI reload. Beautiful. Let me punish it. Oh. Oh, yep, I guess you do need the close on click. So you can see there, you need the close on click is undefined. So close on click uh, true. I want that to be true. Excuse me, I'm sorry, that probably sounded terrible. Okay, reload again. Punish GUI at Shadden, or at Shadows, and there you go. We no longer receive the error in the console or anything. And just click on mute that person, and it will execute the command. Love server says hi. Um, that's pretty much it for that. That's really about it. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you really liked the video, subscribe. Do it. Okay, bye.